How's it going guys? This is the Math Base and today we're learning a very high level concept, solving trigonometric equations in radians. As mentioned in other videos, VCE does not use degrees that much, so you're going to need all your basics for this one. And trigonometry has a lot of basics. There's stuff for Pythagoras' theorem, ratios, radians, graphs, special triangles, etc. How well do you think you know your basics for ratios? Try out these questions. I'll write them in the four quadrants. First quadrant has sine pi on 6. Second quadrant has sine 5 pi on 6. Third quadrant has sine 7 pi on 6. And the fourth quadrant will have sine 11 pi on 6. Pause the video and give them a go. OK. Convert them to degrees first. All four questions reference 30 degrees, so they use the special triangles and have the same ratios. But they are in different quadrants, so use the cast system to get the right signage for each answer. Done. I hope you got them right, but if you didn't, then please stop this video right now and go watch my videos on special triangles, exact values, and solving radians and ratios. Heck, just watch the entire trigonometry playlist because we're about to dive into some very high level stuff here. And pause the video as many times as you need to give yourself the time to understand what I'll be teaching. Okay, I hope you're ready for this because here we go. So we have all these values, right? What if I rubbed out this angle here? called it theta, and asked you to solve for theta. This is not a trick question. We saw the answer before, so it's no mystery that theta is simply pi on 6, right? Easy. And if I did something similar in the second quadrant and asked you to find theta, the right answer would be 5 pi on 6, right? It can't really be anything else because theta is between pi on 2 and pi. But what if I generalized it a little more and said theta is between 0 and pi? Well, based on our previous knowledge, there would be two answers, and you must include both, so your solution is theta equals pi on 6 or 5 pi on 6. In summary, it's like saying root 16 equals 4, because we know 4 squared is 16. So, catch this, guys. We need previous knowledge, or the ability to generate it on the fly, the way we did at the start of this video. Without this knowledge, it becomes infinitely more difficult to solve theta for sine, cos, or tangent equations like these. We need that previous knowledge, and there's no two ways about it. But I want to make this as easy as possible for you guys, so I'll share two tips on how to tackle these questions. Our first question is to solve theta for cos theta equals negative root 2 on 2. While the question wants theta, I think the real question is what previous knowledge do we need? Tip number one, if you're asked to do this by hand, chances are the answer will have something to do with one of these famous radian angles, pi on 6, pi on 3, pi on 4, and pi on 2. The question is using cosine, so why don't we go ahead and find the cosine of these famous angles and see what we get. Feel free to pause the video right now if you wish to work it out before I do. Okay, so cos pi on 6 and cos pi on 3 can both be found using the 60-30 special triangle and ka from Sokator. So cos pi on 6 is root 3 on 2, and cos pi on 3 is half. Cos pi on 4 can be found from the 45 special triangle in a similar manner, giving us 1 over root 2, or root 2 on 2. Cos pi on 2 is quadrantal, so we can grab the ratio from the x-coordinate at 90 degrees on the unit circle, giving us 0. By inspection, we notice cos pi on 4 is a match to the right-hand side of our question, but the signage is different. Why? 
because they're not in the first quadrant. According to the caste system, the second and third quadrants give negative cos values. So theta must be in those two places, which also means there's two answers to this problem. Okay, let's recap what we know so far. Theta is referencing pi on 4, but it is in the second or third quadrant. But what's the angle? Tip number two. Once you have the reference angle, add or minus it from pi for the second or third quadrant, and minus it from 2 pi for the fourth quadrant. In our case, subtract or add pi on 4 from pi. You can work it out by matching denominators, but who even does that, right? I'd rather use pizza to get the answer in a flash. This is one of the reasons why radians is easier than degrees. So theta's answer is 3 pi on 4, or 5 pi on 4, right? We did it! Well, not exactly. Did anyone notice? I did not include any restrictions for theta. It's usually between 0 and 2 pi for most questions, so these answers are acceptable, but if it was between 0 and 4 pi, it gets a little more complicated. I won't get into this right now since this video is purely an introduction to the idea, but we'd basically add another period of our answers giving us a total of four answers. 3 pi on 4, 5 pi on 4, 11 pi on 4, and 13 pi on 4. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see a video on different restrictions and or general answers. Okay, let's check out tangent theta real quick. It's very similar. Solve theta for tangent theta equals positive 1 on root 3 given theta is between 0 and 2 pi. If you want to try it on your own first, you can pause the video right now. Okay, so using tip number one, we find tangent pi on 6 to be the best match. Their signage is the same, but you still need to consider tip number two because theta is somewhere between 0 and 2 pi, which covers four quadrants. Positive tangent is in the first or third quadrant, so take pi and add pi on 6 to get our second answer. So theta is pi on 6 or 7 pi on 6. Done! Wow! Okay, it's not that easy, but you'll get faster as you practice more of these. The key is to have that previous knowledge in your head, so you won't have to keep generating it on the fly. Practice perfect form and you will achieve perfection. And that's it. If you guys did make it this far, well done. This is obviously just the tip of the iceberg, but it lays the foundation, making it possible to solve a crazy equation like this. If you guys want a video on this, please let me know in the comments below. So I hope this video was fun and made sense. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. You could be the first to watch the next one. Thanks guys, see you next time.